A young family carjacked at gunpoint in South Minneapolis, but this time it didn't happen out in public. It happened at their home and in front of their young children. Tonight, Fox 9's Nathan O'Neill has new video of the suspects and more on what those attackers demanded. Carjacked in a matter of seconds in South Minneapolis. This surveillance video shows a group of young men, possibly teenagers, jump out of a black SUV and ambush an unsuspecting victim. The attack just out of view of the surveillance cameras inside this home garage. All of us mentally have walked away extremely scared and, and traumatized. This woman requested we not share her name out of fear for her family's safety after she says the group of apparent teenagers attacked her boyfriend. They told him to give him the keys. They held a gun up to his head, demanded his phone as well as his iCloud password. Um, and he didn't know, you know, like he didn't know off the top of his head what his iCloud password was. And so they started punching him uh, in the face with the gun held up to him, um, which my children could see from the back door. This surveillance video from the morning of December 18th shows at least four young men and that getaway car. When we reviewed the footage, we saw that there was a fifth person remaining in the black car. Um, and she it looks like a girl. She popped her head out at the end, but I think there was five in total. At the moment, Minneapolis police are investigating at least 75 carjackings, all of which have happened in the month of December. As for this case, though, no arrests have been made. While the victim's car has been located, she was told it will be stuck in MPD's impound lot for the foreseeable future. That likely it would be a long time until I was able to know the condition of the car or when I could get it back because they have such a large backlog of cars in their impound. He said it was something like 100 cars. As investigators begin work on this carjacking case, this victim is calling on the community to step up. When I think about these crimes, I just keep thinking no child wakes up and decides that they want to be a carjacker. You know, they don't they don't grow up wanting to be a carjacker or, or committing violent crimes. I think it's a symptom of some pretty serious problems that we have with our community and our lack of support for these kids and for the impoverished. And I feel like if I don't speak up, if the other victims don't speak up, then what change will come? Nathan O'Neill, Fox 9.